Hi, welcome back to the shop. This week we're back on the GL1000. We've got quite a bit of do to do. We'll do some wiring, we'll get the exhausts on. Anyway, let's get on with it. First up, the front foot pegs go on. Followed by the shelter frame. Now I'm bolting on the left hand side shelter. And the right hand side shelter. Finally, the top shelter. Next up, the battery box gets bolted in. The rear fender goes on, starting with the inner plastic fender, followed by the metal chrome fender and rear tail light housing. Left hand exhaust headers and exhaust goes on. Before the right hand exhaust header goes on, the wire for the neutral switch gets screwed into place. Now the right hand exhaust header, exhaust and H crossover pipe can get bolted into place. When I was installed in the side cover I noticed I was missing a bolt so I created one from an M6 bolt. I just ground down, drilled a hole for a cotter pin so that it can hold the side cover in place. The fan thermostat pressure gauge wiring gets installed now. light instruments are now installed. They plug into the back of the rev counter and the speedometer as well as into the main distribution block. Aww. 
Now I'm installed in the left hand levers. The top cages are bolted in place. Here I'm bolting down the 12 volt regulator onto the side of the left hand shelter frame. I tested the starter motor relay before installing it and found that there was a large resistance across it. So I removed the two top screws along with the bolts on the pillars to sand down the copper surfaces to reduce the resistance within the starter relay. Now I put it back onto the bike to test whether the starter relay is working. When I press the starter button, it passes the 12 volts from the battery. The signal wire for the coil is needed soldering back on, so I solder that back on before installation. Here I'm bolting together the two coils along with the resistor. The coils get installed by passing it in from the side and bolting it from each side onto the frame of the bike. Now the rubbers are installed on the seat so the seat can be bolted into place. Hi, thanks for watching. Got quite a lot done this episode. Got all the body work on, got a lot of the wiring done. And still got some parts on order so we can get the brake lines finalised, get the HT leads on and spark plugs. Then we're almost ready for fluids and fast start. So if you enjoy what I'm doing here, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification if you want to be notified when I release new videos. And take care of yourselves.